Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. I create a lot of content for MSPs. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a policy to block any applications that don't meet HIPAA standards in Microsoft Cloud App Security. So if you've been following along with my videos here, I've created a lot to get you acclimated to Cloud App Security. In this one, I just wanted to show specific policies related to compliance. So if you're familiar with Cloud App Security, you know in the Discovery Dashboard or in the Discovered App section that you can see all the applications here and you can expand them to see various security and compliance controls and if they're being met or not across your environment and also from Microsoft's inventory of almost 17,000. So those are a couple of different ways that you can, you can monitor this. You can additionally search for them here and do an advanced query where you're looking for compliance risk factor and you can search for multiple here. I'm just going to select HIPAA and I'm going to say it equals false. And that will immediately tell me which apps here in my discovery are not meeting HIPAA standards. And Facebook here is one of them and I've unsanctioned this application. So now I'm going to show you how to create a policy off of this as well too. You can actually take your query here and just create a policy from this search right away. Otherwise, you could come into the policy section and you can create a new policy and we're going to say app discovery and you can just call it the sanction or unsanction. And we can put the severity, whatever you like here, you can put it as high. And for the filters, what we're going to do is, is look for compliance risk factor again. You also can apply certain templates here if you really wanted to. So you could look for cloud storage app, compliance check, collaboration app, just a new cloud storage app in general, things like this. So you can get as really granular as you want. Let's just click on this one so I can show you what that looks like. Basically takes this advanced query and puts it in there for you. If you didn't want the category in here, you can go ahead and lock that and you can see that it updated our name as well too. You can change that. So for one of these, I just want to switch it to HIPAA. I'm going to say that that's false. And additionally, you could get even more granular here and say that the risk score of the app is equal to you know, five or three or something like that. I don't necessarily like this because it is looking at just this score. So if it's a four, it wouldn't necessarily trigger this because it doesn't equal a score of three. So I like to keep that one off just for general reporting. And then coming down here, you could do multiple policy matches based off of a track traffic or number of users, but I don't like to do that. I just want to have these controls whenever a new app is detected that doesn't meet these standards. So what I'm going to do here is you can decide what type of alerting you want, if any, and you could send this to your support desk. You could get a text message if you wanted to, you could send it to an admin email, or you can create a power automate workflow, which I'll show you in another video to your ticketing system or to a specific board in your ticketing system. So that's kind of probably the more advanced way to go, but gives you greater visibility specific to this customer in your environment. The last thing you'll want to do is tag the app as unsanctioned. And from there, I'm not going to do this one for right now, so I can save it and create it. I'll go ahead and just create here. And you'll be able to then now start seeing open alerts and you'll get those notifications for your applications that are being detected that don't meet HIPAA standards. That's everything I wanted to show for you guys in this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, please like or subscribe if you guys want to see more content around Microsoft 365 and the MSP space. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.